let's maybe try this again, where people can maybe hear me. That would be a good thing. In theory, it's working now. Yay! Yay, voice! <clears throat> Yay, voice that's had a cold for over a week, but it's a voice. And a dog in the corner. Hi, dog. That's alright. You pretty much just missed me babbling about setting up the stream and how I haven't streamed in like a year. And uh, it's really a shame it wasn't working when I killed my favorite big... Well, not big, big baddie, but my favorite large, and my favorite large, normal, kind of, worldy enemy in the game, but, you know. Thank you for letting me know. I probably should have noticed that. I was looking at the wrong thing up on the screen when I thought I was coming through. I was looking at the game volume. Possibly because it's been about a year since I streamed. Funny how that works. Oh, yay, and it's nighttime now. How are you doing today? <laughs> yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. I pretty clearly don't do this professionally, but uh, recording, recording it separately if you have a cold makes a lot of sense. What else was I saying? What else did you miss? Because I was talking and nobody could hear me. Um, I normally have the Twitch chat up in a box here, but it's not working tonight anyway, so I took it off. My voice was kind of fine today at work, but I might have killed it uh, doing the work thing. Is the game volume okay, though? Like, it sounds a little loud to me in my ears, but I've got headphones on and that makes a difference. Who's trying to kill me now? Oh, you're trying to kill me. Okay, baby. Okay, you try to kill me. Okay, it is loud? Okay. Give me a second with things not attacking me and I can adjust that too. Yes, I know I will get at the clinic. Hi, Loki. Oh, game volume's fine. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I will adjust it back up. That works. So anyway, this is clearly not actually a brand new character. Um, and I, abstruse, I forget if you've, I forget if you've played TSW. I thought you did. I don't remember. But, um, I have not linked my accounts yet. As soon as they announced that the in-game cosmetics were moving over to this game too, I decided I needed to finish buying up the in-game stuff in TSW before I try to link my accounts. And there's a very specific vendor in London whose stock rotates daily on w within a week. It's only, you know, Sunday through Saturday. But that means I'm waiting a week to link up my account so that I actually get all of my stuff. Mostly because I have millions of packs sitting around in the secret world and I, m I might as well use them. I might as well use them and get something to bring into this game. Oh, it's cool a bunch of your friends play. The, um... With the Secret World, it's kind of funny. It really was kind of a, a niche game, but a lot of the people who played it were people who normally don't play MMOs, just because of the story and the atmosphere and all that. I'm pretty sure everybody who ever writes about the game mentions that, but it, it really was a thing. You could tell in the forums. There were all these people who were like, well, I don't usually play video games, or well, I usually don't play MMOs, but I started this one. Oh, nice! Shatter on game designers and novelists. Yeah, I believe that. I very much believe that that would appeal to them. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could help them think you're an expert. 
I, uh, I mean, you follow my Twitter, so you already know, like, I am kind of super in love with the Secret World, and I am very satisfied with what they did with the relaunch, so. I should probably do some gameplay stuff, too. So, for those who haven't played, um, you've got a whole intro tutorial where you get recruited by your faction, willingly or not. Then you've got a little section where you go to Agartha, which is kind of the hub, the hub area in this game. And then your faction leader sends you to this little town of Kingsmouth. Because they've got some issues going on, and some of the issues are causing, like, zombies and stuff. Not, not just zombies, but all kinds of stuff. This area is very much like a main inspired area. It's very inspired by like Stephen King, by Lovecraft. You get into other areas later in the game, but this one is very much just that like main sort of area. Um, this is very early into kind of the, the storyline and the mission chain in this area. Uh, I'm trying to think. You get in here, and you find some survivors, and then you kind of get sent off finding some more survivors. You just found out that all of the town's problems started when a particular ship came into town. And right now, you're trying to find the doctor who treated the people who came back on the ship. Because they were the ones who first had issues, and it was right after they came back that everything else kind of went to hell into a uh, zombie town. <laughs> yeah, sounding like you know what you're talking about because you're talking to your friends is always a plus. Like, I've, I've probably totally done that before. So that's, that's at least the short lead up so you have some vague idea where I am in the story. And this is his office. This is also, and they redid this mission, this is the very first of the investigation missions in uh, both TSW and Secret World Legends. The investigation missions are basically puzzle missions. Um, the later ones are much more elaborate. And you'll get stuff where you have to, say, figure out Morse code because a car's headlights are blinking. Um, Spoilers, if anybody remembers that for later, but like that level of stuff. You'll have to Google other languages. You'll have to... They, they get really elaborate later on. They specifically adjusted this one to be a little bit easier in Secret World Legends than it was in TSW. Partly because it is a story mission. You cannot progress in the story if you don't solve this mission. And even though it seemed pretty easy, to just people who kind of like puzzly stuff. I'm one of them. I mean, I played Myst when I was like eight. Uh, but, but people who maybe aren't so good at the puzzly stuff were getting stuck at this. So they decided to make it more of an intro tutorial, as it probably should be in the very first area and as the very first investigation mission that you do. Yes, I do want to enter the clinic. Thank you. Well, that doesn't look good. That's always a problem. Ah. So we have Vivaldi, the Four Seasons. And if you've ever played anything remotely resembling a puzzle game, you know if you can inspect something, it's probably important. Probably. We have another hint here. I guess I'm spoiling it by saying it's a hint, I'm sorry. Night Hell and I met under the fireworks originally. Oh, I'm trying to remember what this was originally because it's been a while since I played through this early in the story mission. <laughs> and another mention, and yes, that does say flags. There is flags, I think it's flags pharmacy. I can, I can show you a phone book later because it, the phone book with some of the references in it, it sounds lame, but that was one of the things that first hooked me on the game, just because there's so many references. 
saying I had a wonderful time last night. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Hope you enjoyed the CD. It's the only by Vivaldi that Flags had in stock. Helen. I want to say that originally the only interactable item in here was the picture. And I think I think the wording might have been a little bit different to make it just like a little bit more vague. Um, but the point of all that is, I'm going to look at the case database, if it lets me. There we go. And it's confidential. Please enter your password. Also this, this ghost thing here, it didn't used to give you this particular icon. But the point of it is supposed to be that you are trying to hack into these computers, and that's why the interface is not all pretty in Windows or whatever operating system you choose to use. So you go into Hint, my favorite composer. Well, I wonder who that could be. <coughs> that's what it was. Originally, it was just the picture, and it said the Four Seasons. So if you didn't know who did, uh, who composed the Four Seasons, you'd have to go Google that figure it out and come back, which is not the most, el <laughs> yeah, there you go, um, which is not the most elaborate puzzle ever, but I, 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 you know, not everybody's good at that stuff. Everybody has their strengths. It's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Woohoo! Hi, Loki. We have a deviant teenager that we will later meet who was seen by the doctor for deviant behavior, including voyeurism and graffiti. Helen thought this assessment would be the best way to stop Mr. Rosin from pressing charges. It was pretty funny, the YouTube clip of him in his underwear watering roses. The diagnosis, Danny is a fine, healthy young man. His sense of humor might make him some enemies. The flavor text in this game is just, I love how much effort they put into it. You will meet. Do I still have Moobot going? Ah. I have Moobot going and it's not even accurate right now. Okay, we're gonna... I really don't want to steal a line from Nash, but I so want to be like, live everybody! Let's uh... Let's maybe turn that off. I thought I had all the Moobot turned off, but apparently I did not. Yes, we're gonna squeeze this. Yes. Just let me in. <coughs> Hi, Loki. I don't know if they can hear you, but I can. I definitely can. <coughs> Hi. <coughs> Shh! Hey! Loki. There we go. I have fixed the Moobot. Super yeah, I'm sure he could hear him that time. He's not used to me streaming anymore either. I, I am talking to somebody and it's not him. And I'm sure that's upset that upsets him very much. Do you need to try to get up on camera? Come on. Can you get up here? Say hi. Yeah, there's a Loki cameo for ya. There's a Loki cameo. Yeah, you're a good boy. You gotta be quiet though. You're even louder than Grady. You are. Yeah, you are. Okay, sweetie. You be good. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what he was upset about. He was upset because he gets Mozart. And everybody else in the world. Yes. Okay, so Lady Margaret incident. Lady Margaret, that is the name of the ship that we were sent out to investigate. I'm gonna go to the fortune teller first though, because this is also an NPC that you later on meet. 
and she's awesome and I love her. Uh, referral self-appointment, reason for referral not disclosed. M. Roger seems to suffer from a variety of deviant sexual fantasies, not least of which involve an inappropriate doctor-patient relationship. Diagnosis, dynamite. Roger's pretty awesome. Um, she doesn't really get in, I don't think she really gets into like that part of her life when you're chatting with her, but she's, she's just an awesome character. She really is. All right, we, we, we can do the one that actually, <laughs> actually follows the storyline. Lady Margaret. Um, uh, regarding patients, Derek Creed, Lawrence Creed, and Joe Slater. Lawrence and Derek Creed. We've got addresses. They came to me after the Lady Margaret limped, limped back into the harbor. All of them needed help, so I arranged separate interviews. It is too early to tell, but something clearly happened on that ship. Derek suffers from severe headaches and a keen sense of paranoia. The similarities with Joe Slater and Lawrence Creed are alarming. It seems the symptoms develop at uneven rates, but I fear everyone on the boat might be affected with this, whatever it is. Second consultation with Lawrence today. The headaches are getting worse to the point where he can no longer function normally. The paranoia has not abated and he has developed a new symptom, night terrors. I prescribed an antidepressant, but if his development is anything like Joe's, I fear he will only get worse. I saw Joe again today. This is the fourth consultation. I'm at a loss. He was barely coherent. His left leg twitched and he obsessively scratched his right arm. Paranoia has developed into severe delusions. Consulted with Hartman in New York who suggested the symptoms are most likely signs of schizophrenia, which echo my earlier diagnosis. With others from the boat presenting similar symptoms, however, and the patient's lack of response to medication, I fear this might be something environmental, something eating away at the brain prescribe uh, clozapine, clozapine, but I am not optimistic. If I continue reading aloud all of the stuff, I will eventually mispronounce something. I, I, I will apologize for that ahead of time. It always happens. Uh, yes, investigation missions contain challenging puzzle solving gameplay. So now we get to find the people the doctor was talking about. And you can see, like, something was going on here, and it was probably not good. Yes, I do. And while we're loading, I'm gonna do a thing quick, because I am always super professional in my streams. Okay. They actually also, they made the nights a lot darker in this game than they were in the secret world, and it took a little bit to get used to, but I, I oh, I ran down the wrong street. <laughs> I like the atmosphere that it adds to it. And it is so weird not to have the same sprinting capabilities, because I was at max sprint. Um, in TSW, of course. Well, I still am. The game still exists. But they've tied that to, I believe, the level progression in this version. Which, which I'm actually okay with. I think when you first experience the game, it is much, much, much better to have the slower sprint and kind of take in the surroundings and see where you are than to just try to immediately purchase the faster sprint and zoom right through it. Oh, that's right. This No, I was right. Because you can't get in there from this side. See, I know this game better than I thought I did. I thought I was running the wrong way and I knew exactly what I was doing. Because, yeah, it's, it's the other side that's got... See, I gotta not second guess myself with this game, because I actually know it better than I think I do. There's another call out to uh, a certain Stephen King story. If y'all have read uh, Shawshank Redemption, there were so many of those references in this first area. And I love it. That's right, I was, it sounds lame, but that's right, I was gonna find a phone book at some point. 
I will try to remember. There's like there's a reference to flag. There's a oh what is it? Um, Jack and Wendy's Diner, which you you can't go into, but you can visit the site of the building of uh, Jack and Wendy's Diner. It's kind of fun. I am probably... I, I'm not super OP for this area, but I've been running a lot of missions in the time that I've had, so... As long as I don't get overwhelmed, things fall over fairly quickly. The bit. <laughs> So we have Derek Creed, and uh, he's not looking too good there. This is going to lead up to one of my favorite little mission chains in the entire game, too. Uh, hi, Derek. How, uh, how did those headaches work out for you? Uh, I don't think they worked out real well. Well, we can look for Joe at least. We can find out if Joe had any better luck. I, uh... <laughs> pretty sure he didn't. Uh, well, spoilers. It seems like nobody really did. Let's see, is it up? Oh, sweet! I got a faction rank, right where it's when it's trying to show me something. Oh, that's right! I probably do have to level up before it will let me into that mission. I, I know where the new missions are. It's okay, game. There are plenty of missions for me to run. I, I am alright with that. Let me at least pick up... Oh no, I don't know! This thing's trying to eat me! Let's not read the journal while things are trying to eat me. Okay. Oh, that was a side mission I was working on. That was one of the medical report pages. Okay, so the thing with the mission logging. Secret World used to be very big on there are no levels. Um, they've later said that obviously, I mean, there kind of were. You couldn't just run and, you know, run to the very last area in the game and kick everything's butt just because you felt like it. But nothing was level locked. The problem is, people would speed through the game, get stuck, get frustrated, and quit. Because it wasn't clear to them at what point they needed to run some more regular missions and, you know, give the story mission a pause. It wasn't clear to them when they needed to maybe upgrade their gear. Um, so one of the changes they made was to actually level lock some places in the story to make sure people were powering, you know, leveling up fast enough that they wouldn't get absolutely squished. And I, like, I was, um, I was actually in beta, I don't talk about how long I was, but I was in beta, and I still keep forgetting that they did that here, because I am so used, I'm so used to on replays, just running right through. My very first playthrough, I played every mission, I played every side mission, but when I, you know, when I ran alts or whatever, I just kind of booked it through the story, and you can't really do that anymore, which is not a bad thing. That's true! You know, if you're gonna eat my brain, you should let me read more things first. Okay, what do I have going on here? Oh, it's gonna let me... It is, though, since I did that very first little mini ex um, investigation mission, it will let me do another one of my favorites. Oh, that's wow. Well, fine. I'll spend shards. I do when I finally link my accounts, I will have patron status. But I'm waiting to buy more clothes first. So you you're you're getting the uh, legitimate, you know, free to play experience here. And that is that I will probably keep calling these lore. They were called lore in the secret world. 
and it is embedded in my brain as lore. Here it's a legend. And again, for somebody, oh, it doesn't come up like that anymore. Um, for somebody who likes story, they also do give you, they give you a little bit of experience, and I think they give you some anima shards too, as somebody had mentioned. But they're always really interesting. Uh, the one I just picked up links to something about the 1712 fire, which is in Solomon Island local history. A new clue, a new trail of Illuminati thought. A year before the fire, a stranger broke into Solomon Priest's house trying to steal Illuminati documents. He was dragged away cursing. The eye in the pyramid focused and followed this man. Evicted from Kingsmouth, he crept south, town to town, along the coast, and toward the Spanish colonies, where he faded away. And obviously when you get the rest of them, you get... I don't know about the full story, but as much of the story as the game feels like giving you, at least. Alright, we should do things. I should really stop reading all of the all of the text though if my voice is already dying like I'm a try but it might not go well oh yeah I can't left click anymore oh I don't wanna oh are you gonna make me do them in order no you're not we want to do the Kingsmith code Manuscript waiting for those who would read between the lines. I've seen this spelled out, the hidden truth of this, this blighted garden of Eden. Are all not seekers of knowledge, you and I? Even a man of God can have his eyes open to further enlightenment and illumination. To be illuminated under the eye. The pyramid? The Illuminati. I'm with the Illuminati. I don't have a badge or anything like that. I'm what you might call a, uh, a hobbyist member. But I earned it. I did extensive research on the net. The code words I followed led me to forums. Secret forums. Forums that don't show up on Google. And I'm an avid poster. A valued poster. I know there are paths in Kingsmouth, not on any map. The work of the Illuminati is everywhere. A secret gospel, chapter and verse throughout the town. Signs and formulae. That's why you're here, isn't it? Now, my work is not exhaustive. There are elements of their, of our grand plan I may have overlooked. Tiny, tiny details still left unexplored. I trust we have each other's disclosure. So yeah, he's he's an Illuminati fanboy. Um, you know, because he's on the secret forums a lot. He's, he's totally Illuminati, you guys. This is one of the characters I like. Alright, so obviously we've been prompted towards the, uh, towards the these guys. <laughs> yeah, so, spoilers, if you couldn't tell from the way he talked about it. Um, <laughs> he he certainly thinks he is. He's uh he's kind of like anybody else. He's just like on the on the, on the forums for anything a lot. So he totally thinks he's in the in crowd, right? Because he is a valued poster, valued. So we have been prompted here, and I should. There we go. Kingsmith sewer cover. The Illuminati is were very active in this town. Um, you find a lot of hints of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and incidentally, there are a lot of investigation missions uh, in this game. But if you don't want this particular one spoiled, it will not break my heart if you have to kind of mute me or not pay attention, because this is a neat one. But the trick here 
is literally following the signs. Or at least it used to be. I don't think they've changed it. If they've changed it, then we're going to have an even more fun stream, because I won't even know what I'm doing. We're going to follow the eye there. It's Creed Brothers Hardware Store, somewhere in here. There we go. We have, uh, we have another call out there. We have King of Books. I, I'm sure that's not a reference to uh, Stephen King, right? T totally. Not at all. Nope. Hi. I kill you. I am running Blade and Elementalism. Again, when I link my accounts, what I used to run in the old game... Well, what I... St I used to run a lot of different things in the old game, but what I was running most recently was Blade and Assault Rifle. But I haven't unlocked all the weapons in this game yet because I have not linked it to my old account and I don't feel like spending money to open up all the weapons pages when I'm going to get it for free as soon as I link my account. These guys are creepy. The first time you run into these, they're just... They're freaking creepy. And it's a shame it's nighttime because you can't really see them, but. You can hear them. Oop. I didn't mean to pull two of you, but I'm probably still okay. I love those seagulls. If you AFK in this area, like, I just, I love the seagulls, and I love, yeah. I love this game, I love this area, blah blah blah. Yes, I have followed the Illuminati symbols. All right, in the seat of power, the navigator mortalized, illuminating the path to the sleeping priest and Fletcher, in memory of Franz Howells, who per perished in who purchased who perished in light, fifteen eighty to sixteen sixty six. This is the only clue you get. Oh, good morning, Simon. This is the only clue you get to where you're supposed to go next. Um, if I remember right, the first time I played through it, I tried running to the lighthouse. I tried running to a couple other areas, but we are looking for the seat of power in town. Eee! So, I could try to remember. Let's get this back on here. Um, you can see for the investigation missions too, it usually doesn't give you anything on the map to go by. There are some exceptions, but it usually doesn't. So I need to try to remember... I think it's up there. This is the other thing. In in the secret world, I have like little map dots everywhere explaining where things are in case I space it. And those did not transfer over. So there are some times that I know the towns better than I think I do, and there are some times I do not. Okay, I want to say... E. Blade is really good for large groups of enemies. I'm trying to think. If you hover over it, does it tell you what it is? Oh, helicopters. Yay, helicopters. I swear when you hovered over it, it used to tell you. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, 
real nice, Simon. I managed to... I, I played the Secret World all the way up to Tokyo solo. It, it's something you could totally do, and they made that even more possible in this game. And I think I only started doing group stuff in solo because I happened to make friends in-game at that point that I wanted to run things with. I'm going to pull this up again, because you can, there's a journal you can pull up, which helps a lot in these investigation missions. So in the Seat of Power, the Navigator immortalized. And you can see you can interact with these pictures. So we're going to look for something that might apply. And there we go. Oh. And I've, I've run this mission so many times now that I can't even think... I can't even think what this actual... the actual name of the painting or anything. Um, but it connects to that Navigator Immortalized. Oh, Simon, you shouldn't have to make a new account. The exact same way you logged into the Secret World should let you log into this one. The game is down for most of the day, though. Because the, the linking account is separate from just being able to get in. I am in. I have not linked my account yet. Yeah, you, you should just be able to log into this game with the exact same username and password you used for the Secret World. Uh, if it doesn't work, that might be something you have to actually get a hold of customer service. And obviously they're trying really hard, but they're swamped right now. Account credentials are invalid. It, I, it shouldn't be. I know it's super helpful when I'm just like, oh, it shouldn't work like that. But yeah, I didn't do anything special just to get in. I, I just used the same login. I, I am <clears throat> legitimately not sure what to tell you there. figure this out. Yeah. Yeah, the character transfer is valid until August. That's why I get to put it off until I'm sure I'm done collecting all of the clothes. Alright, so again, I am totally... I am totally spoiling the, um, I can talk, I am awake. The excitement of figuring out all of this for yourself, but... Okay, sorry guys, one more thing. Yeah, Simon, a lot of us were, I spent, oh, I am still spending a lot of in-game cash, because originally they had announced that only the, and on, that only the cosmetic items you bought with real money were going to transfer to this game. And then pretty soon before they opened up the Head Start, somebody asked about the clothes we bought with in-game currency, and they said, no, those should transfer too. And everybody went on spending sprees. It was awesome. I still am. I mentioned I mentioned earlier in the stream that there's a vendor in Darkside in London, Darkside London, that has rotating stock throughout the week. 
and I kind of want to buy all of that, which means I have to wait a week for the entire thing to rotate through. Okay, so we found the painting. We found the location referenced. Time is the province of kings and gods. The hands of time point to truths written by kings in the words of God. The path is open to the enlightened. Um, this and th this is this has been criticized since this is not this is not story necessary, but it is the first like real investigation mission you play in the game, and it goes from really easy, following this following the sewer caps. Um, to a little bit tougher by figuring out these paintings to all of a sudden this. This is a super elaborate thing where you have to like look up specific passages in the Bible basically. Um, again, spoiler which ruins the entire thing but we're, we're running through this right now and I did I, I do keep warning everybody like this is spoilers for one of the first investigation missions. I'm trying to remember I've got my notes here. I'm act I'm actually honestly gonna check my notes because you don't you guys don't want to wait around for me to figure out how to do this when I haven't done it in forever. But I has notes if I can find them. I has physical notes for this game too, actually. But this is gonna be a little faster. And at least I can have my face on screen instead of staring down at uh, my little notebook. If I can find my notes. Super entertaining streaming! Watch me as I scroll through things! Okay. With my notes, we're gonna try to do this the right way. So, time is the province of kings and gods. The hands of time point to truths written by kings in the words of God. Words of God is obviously, you know, that's, that's kind of your hint towards the Bible. But the hands of time point to truths written by kings in the words of God. So, hands of time, hands of time, hands of time. We should... Oh, what's up with that clock? The clock used to have hand. Oh, I'm running the wrong way. That would do it. How about that clock? How about not just the random round thing I ran towards? The 2017 Rav4. What? Um, oh, Toyota. I'm getting an That's ad on another window. I'm sorry. No, mute. Go away. Well, that was exciting. That was super exciting. So anyway, yay! We have a clock here at 1010. So, what you wind up doing is figuring out how all of that connects. Where's my notes? So you actually wind up looking for Kings 1010 in the Bible either an actual physical one or looking it up online, which reads, And she gave the king 120 talents of gold and of spices very great store and precious stones. There came no more such abundance of spices as these which the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. This is something that you have no idea what it connects to yet. So... I'm gonna look at it. Ah, uh, that's not the one I want. I want the other one. Give me the other one! 
make the people think I know how to click things. Oh, they might need to fix that because that's not giving me the actual dialogue on it. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to. Oh, it says here. Times the province of kings and gods. Da -da -da. The path is opened by the enlightened. Okay, I might honestly forget how I figured this out the first time, but there, there's a house in town that is um, Solomon Priest's house. Instead of me trying to remember how I figured it out, maybe we should just go there. <laughs> oh, look! I did a challenge! Yay me! Oh, go away. I'm honestly trying to remember if it's just dumb luck that you put together all of the kind of biblical stuff and all that into um, Priest House? Because I'm not sure if there's something else that I would have seen if I wasn't kind of going through this faster than I should because I have notes. Um, <laughs> you get some batteries for the clock. Oh, I'm I'm positive. Yeah, yeah, Gamer Tavern. I had the other screen up, so I couldn't see what everyone was saying. But yeah. Okay, catching squirrel. <laughs> catching up on chat. Um. Yeah, the, if the Marquis was in the secret world, he would be in the dark side of London. Rotating stock. Okay, so dark side is... I think it's actually on the map as dark side. It's the same area where you get the tacos and all that. But there should be a man and a woman and a dog, though he doesn't sell anything. Dressed very, very goth um, in, in that same kind of general area where you buy tacos and there's all the food stands and all of that and they sell different things every day um starting over again every sunday yeah sword is what i'm using right now assault rifle i barely played with and blood magic i didn't get a chance to yet um, sword obviously looks a lot more impressive, and I, to me it feels a lot better. Like, it takes a while to get used to the new control style when you're used to the secret world, but it just, it feels better. It actually has a special thing here that I keep forgetting to use, that um, attacks have a random chance to give you spirit, and once you get enough spirit you can hit this, um, hit this ability and do more damage, and I keep forgetting to use it because I'm not used to that being an option, but but it's a neat one. And obviously I'm doing fine even forgetting, so, you know, that's a plus. I have tried disassembling the tacos. Everybody should disassemb try disassembling the tacos at least once. Okay, so back on track. I swear there's another hint that's supposed to make you figure out that you're going to uh, the priest's house. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it literally is just... Just because uh, biblical stuff in the description on the painting. Written by... Well, written by kings in the word of God. Kings, kingsmith, god stuff. Eh. But there's a number pad here, and I, th I think originally I figured out to run to this house before I had any idea what the password was supposed to be. But all of that Bible stuff earlier, it is, they moved a lot of the animal wells. Uh, and and I, in my opinion at least, and, and I've really only played through like Kingsmith. I, I never got a chance to get further even when I was in beta, just I, I had work, I had life stuff, I never got much further. But they moved a lot of the animal wells, but they feel like they're much more convenient to missions now, and much more convenient to places that I was always running back to. So that's nice.
But yeah, spoilers again. The password is 120. Yes, I do want to enter the Illuminati cellar, please. Yay, SP! And we have another computer. And we have another computer where we need a hint. Light conquers all. This is another thing that you can Google. I don't remember the login name, Tricast. I want to test this because I forget if you, I forget if you actually do a straight Google if it brings up anything other than links to um, secret <laughs> secret world blogs. Um, yeah, that's the only problem. Once the secret world really got going, you Google a lot of these phrases and you wind up with links to the Kingsmith Code, the Secret World guides. But originally, when you used to look that up, it didn't bring up quite so many Secret World things. Uh, I forget if this is in the journal or not. Is it in the journal that first time? But it brings you right back to this. Because originally, when you Googled it and put it together, you could figure out that the hint is Latin, and it is what was on the sewer caps. I feel like I'm ma making this mission seem a lot more lame by both remembering too much and not remembering too much. We can try to view archives, but they're not accessible at this time. I know, the other computer had like all of the side story stuff and this one doesn't. Which seems really annoying to me because like I am a Lumi. I'm Illuminati. Y'all should let me access my records. Oh, are you gonna... Yes, I want to access the secure artifacts now. I will access all of the secure art artif <laughs> artifacts. Thank you very much. Yay! <laughs> Always Team Blue. Yeah, it could just be password. Okay. I love every, every mission turn in from Kirsten. This is one of the reasons I am Team Blue. This is my boss. She's wonderful. If you wanted the keys to the family basement, you just had to ask. But it was super cute watching you solve our own puzzles. As should be apparent by now, we have a thing for labyrinths stems from a healthy cultivation of paranoia, malice, and wit. That said, there may be Illuminati puzzles in the future that we don't have the answers to. Our historical archives are incomplete, many Kingsmith records were charred in the fire of 1712, and the digital transfer of compromised ancient material never goes seamlessly, regardless of what Cassini may have you believe. Ciao, ciao! I just accidentally did uh, a Kirsten impression while I read that, but it's 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 kind of kind of unavoidable. Yes, collect the thing. Oh, investigation vanity reward bag. I have not run into one of those yet. Oh, I got pants. Oh, 
that people wait till they're out in the light to see what my pants look like. I actually already know what they look like. It's something that you could buy in a, the Secret World for packs. I know that because it's one of the things I bought up. Not from Dark Side. Um, from one of the very, very, very early start starting type vendors. What am I doing wrong? I know there's... There we go. Yes, I want to travel to Kingsmith. In, in the secret world, you could interact with most things with right-click, and here it's just an attack. So I'm going to be accidentally trying to attack doors and shelves and everything for a while. Eh, it's still nighttime. I want to say there's a mission turn-in where Kirsten talks about, about how this guy is an Illuminati fanboy. Okay, we're not going to run another investigation mission, though. We're going to run some of the more basic ones. Ancient Illuminati wards, yes! Yes, they are. We can totally test the potency of the wards. That sounds like a good plan. Blessed are the meek, but doubly blessed are those who do the Lord's work boldly. It is through his grace that we find sanctuary in his house, when his house is besieged by, um, by zombies. Not to belittle the Lord's work, but perhaps the Illuminated Ones made this place a safe place through some conjuration of theirs. Blessed by the Lord, of course, or at the very least tolerated. Whatever the providence of our sanctuary, it extends no further than the doorstep. Even the cemetery spills over with the devil's spawn. I've tried prayer, I've tried my 44, but Satan's wearing Kevlar. And Bible thumping uh, just pisses them off. You're adorable, dude. Alright. So draw zombies into the church. Hey friends! Hey neighbors! Let's have a party! This is so satisfying. Bye bye! So, yes, it it's it's not because it's a church. I'm sorry, dude. You you were right. It's because the Illuminati put wards on it. Now, do you count as the second, or does the second one... It might be the one around the corner. You count as the second? There you go. Oh, I love killing zombies. I actually like it best with the shotgun. That feels the most appropriate. And shotgun shotgun was one of the weapons I started off with in, in the secret world, and it was just so satisfying in this area. It's not necessarily as good if you get surrounded as Blade, but it feels so satisfying. Oh. I didn't mean to aggro you, but that's okay. I kill you too! Yeah, there is an active dodge in this game, I just haven't been using it. Welcome to our lovely cemetery. There's all kinds of nice folks to meet. I don't know, I'm really only using one or two attacks. Part of that is because I'm still very early into the game and I haven't unlocked a lot. And part of it might be me still getting used to... There's, there's slightly different controls. So I've, I've, got, I've got a couple that I remember what buttons to push. Oh! Hi, random friend. Oh, 
Ooh, pretty shiny lore. Pretty shiny. Hello. Lore, legend. Um, I had a goal here. I was doing things. Oh, that's right. I'm fixing all the words on the... Herp derp. I'm gonna laugh if I die. I'm gonna laugh if I die. That would be awesome. That would mean I totally overestimated what I was doing and I would totally deserve it. Okay, I didn't die. I don't have tacos yet though. Oh man. I didn't pick any up when I was in Agartha. Oh, hi friend. You, you don't like me fixing the ward? I, I kind of need to fix it, dude. I'm like... I'm doing it as a favor. Okay. I can maybe do things in the right order. Maybe pay more attention to aggro ranges. Oh, come on, dude, really? That's the other downside of starting a new character in Secret World Legends when you're used to being a high level player in the Secret World. I haven't paid attention to aggro ranges in Kingsmouth in, in forever. I guess when I start up an alt, but... I don't know, those gravestones are lighting up. That's part of a different mission. Who's mad at me now? You're mad- oh, all of you are mad at me! Oh, bye bye. Well, now you're gonna piss off your friend, too. Alright. We kill all of you. Amen. They made me do it in order. Let's see if I can run past her aggro range. Oh, seriously, all of you now? <laughs> you might get to see me die yet. I just aggroed half the graveyard because I was impatient. I'm totally gonna die! It's gonna be awesome! Maybe? No? No, I'm not gonna die. I keep thinking I'm gonna die and y'all are gonna get to laugh at me, but... For those who don't know, also, dying in the secret world is kind of awesome because you go into uh, kind of a different dimension um, and there's things you can only see in game when you're running around. You're, you're not technically dead. You're like anima depleted. I forget what they call it offhand, but the point is there are specific things in game that you can only see when you're in that state. Some of them link to missions, but some of them are just cool, creepy shit that you only happen to see if you run through an area when something just killed you. I always liked that. Hi, 
Hi, Vengeful Hulk. Hi, buddy. Hi, big guy. E. And incidentally, one of the reasons I can't just spam that uh, that magic attack, that elementalism, is this little thing right here. If it gets too hot, is a bad thing. Uh, I I forget. I, I I know it damages you. I forget how it damages you because I've always been really careful, and I haven't I haven't overdone it myself. Um, you can get. I forget if I picked up any of them. Hurricane. I haven't yet. Oh, that's right. I have chain lightning though. I forgot. You can pick up abilities that are ice abilities that will cool that down. So in theory, you could just hit a bunch of your heat ones, hit a bunch of cooldown ones, and try to balance it that way. Which is kind of neat. Uh, mission report. Yes. Da, 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 da. Dig deeper. I'm only going to read the like super music ones at this point because obviously my voice is kind of starting to go. Yeah, exactly. They did kind of... Simon mentions that, at least in the secret world with blood... Okay, so the secret world was based on builders and consumers. You do enough of your builder attacks, and then you can do a consumer, which is more powerful. The thing with blood magic, which was primarily a healing magic, but you know could also attack, is that you could cast your consumer without any builders, but it would cast a blood effect on you where you would start bleeding and lose health. Uh, with blood magic, if you if you didn't pay attention and were doing that constantly, you could very easily kill yourself by just casting too many blood consumers. Secret World Legends is not builder consumer. It's a little more normal. You have X amount of energy. You can cast your really powerful attacks for a while, then you run out of energy, then you have to cast your lower ones. That's, I mean, that's how the blade is. And then thrown in with that, some of them have the extra stuff like the elementalism heat thing I was talking about. They, they really did do some neat things. It's, it's different. But I, I think it's going to be easier for people who, if you've played other MMOs, than the theory of you cast your powerful stuff and then you cast your weak stuff while your energy charges is a little more intuitive than people who have maybe only played The Secret World and are very, very, very locked into Builder, 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 Consumer. I had no problem with Builder, Consumer, for the record. Now, I think... Speaking of, and, and you were mentioning, Simon, the, the different animal wells here. So there's still one at the sheriff's office. There's still one at the animal well. There's one at the church now. There's one... Oh, I haven't even been over here, I don't think. I must, I mean, I must have, because I opened it. But there's one over near Normanel. And I think I still have a mission from her to run. And she's kind of interesting as a contrast to, uh... Mr. Mr. Harvey there. I think I still have a mission. Oh, I only have... Oh, that's another investigation one. I don't want to spoil all of the investigation ones for everyone. Oh, hi, friend. Hello, friend in the meat suit. Hello, friend. I'm just going to park myself up here. So I want to look at yeah, escape. They've also adjusted the daily challenge journal here a lot. They were already pretty nice about it. You didn't have to run specific missions or anything. It would be like run an action mission in Egypt or, you know, run however many side missions. It's much more just run three main missions, run three side missions. Uh, do some item empowerments. 50 monster kills, which is insanely easy in most areas in the game. I, I don't care where you are. It, playing for any length of time, you should be able to get 50 monster kills. 
I should. I know this will be super exciting for you guys. But I should probably look at what I have and do some item empowerments. This is another thing they have changed. Instead of what you used to do if you got item uh, talismans or weapons that you didn't need, was you either sold them or you broke them down into their individual components. And then you could put the components together and level up the uh, components. And I mean, I, I, I did that. I like, I never, I very rarely just sold things. I have so much stuff I could craft with in the secret worlds right now, and I very rarely used it, but eh. But here you can directly empower. Like, these two I don't need. I don't think I need. I can just put them in the window here, assemble. Yay, I'm level 9 now. It is much more simple and takes up less inventory space too, to be fair. I am holding on to this guy though because eventually I am going to be playing Assault Rifle. Uh, what are you? When used in Okay. These are daily rewards I got because they're doing daily rewards now too, which I have no issue with at all. So I probably should have used that. I wonder if I can use it on its own? Except that's not a weapon. Good morning. Um, also in Kingsmith, you can only get the necklace and belt talismans. The other ones unlock as you progress forward, which is fair. I might play around with the rest of these later. I did, I did stop. I did stop in New York and pick up the uh, morning light pamphlet because I had to. It is not a secret world game for me. If I don't have a fairly useless item, I keep around just because it's neat. Oof. Okay, I think Loki sounds like he actually needs to go out right now. So I'm going to pause this here. I'm not quite done yet. My voice is starting to die, but I'm not quite... Yeah, I can... I can totally leave that up. The morning light is some scary friggin' shit in this game. The morning light is not your friends. You run into them later, you learn a lot more about them, and they, they are not okay at all. But yeah, let me... I'm gonna run take my dog out. I will be back in a little bit, and we'll see how much longer my voice holds out.
And I should be back now. Yeah, any anything I say about the morning light at this point is go thank you. Is going to be spoilers for much, much later in the game. But there's a mission involving them that the lead writer at the time specifically looked into real life suicide cults. Um they're, they're also into a lot of stuff that is supernatural. They're, yeah. Morning, morning light are, are supposed to come off like that to anybody who's either played games before or knows how bad people can be in the real world. People can be pretty terrifying in the real world. I think we all know that, but we're not talking about that right now because we're just playing games. Um, I've been trying to think... Because th this side mission I have right now is kind of a run around, explore the town, fetch quest, which is probably not all that interesting to actually watch. Uh, Norma Creed here has another one of my... She, she has probably my favorite investigation mission in the whole game, but I don't know if I really want to spoil that. Just on the off chance any of you guys haven't already run through it and feel like playing it. I don't know, Ab Abstruse, I'm, you're the only one I know for a fact is in chat and hasn't played. I mean, do, do, are you alright if I spoil? I mean, it's an early investigation mission, there's other ones that are good. and. The reason it's my favorite is probably just kind of a personal one. That I just really like what they did with it. But... Spoiler away? Okay. If anybody tells me otherwise, I'll stop. And excuse me drinking all of the water. I'm trying to keep my voice going here. So, something wicked. Norma recalls a series of murders in the summer of, t in the summer of 2002. The Secret World was originally released in 2012. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way, abstruse. Like, I can watch somebody do a thing, and I will totally forget it by the time I get around to it. It's a good thing when you watch a lot of Let's Plays. So, multiple murders in a small town. Let's talk to Norma, because Norma is also awesome. She's smarter than she gives herself credit for. Oop, not what I wanted to do. She's also one of the still living town residents, all out on her own with her shotgun. Game, why aren't you letting me click that? Oh, there we go. So, find more information about the murders. A lot of the investigation missions I'm going to teleport. I'm going to animal while jump, not teleport. Because it will make my... Well, it won't make my life that much easier. Never mind. A lot of the investigation missions uh, in, in the secret world and by extension in this game are a lot easier if you've already done a lot of exploration. This is one of the games that rewards you for exploration, and I always love that. Partly the lore, 
um, partly. In in this version, there's a lot more little mini world bosses that you can get by exploring. But also because when you get investigation missions, if they reference a certain place, if you already know kind of what's around in the area, it's a little easier to figure out. We are looking for the Hall of Records here. I think I just ran up the wrong street. Yeah, I did. Um, because if you're in a small town and you're trying to figure out more about some murders years ago, that, that would seem like the smart place to look, right? Yeah, this one never gets old for me either. Never, 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 ever. Uh, what, one of the reasons is something that I can't talk about until we get to it, because... Not that I'm not spoiling it anyway by playing it, but <laughs> I don't need to ex extra double spoil before we even get to the part that I like so much. Uh, uh. I just ran up the wrong street again, really? Like, I know I'm tired, but I was doing so well earlier with remembering where things are in town. What am I even doing now? What am I even doing, people? Where's my Hall of Records? I was literally just there for like the last mission I ran. And now I'm running around like I've never played this game before. I am MLG Gamer. Uh, not the lighthouse, actually. There are some very neat missions out there. Yeah, I'm just, I've just got a trail of friends. Oh, they've got a much larger follow distance than they used to. Yeah, you still following? Okay, you're done. You can find the right street. You know, that helps. Bye-bye. Alright, so let's go upstairs, which we did not do before. Hey, it's almost like I planned this to see the rest of the building, right? Um, give me a second here, because I think there used to be... Lord, there we go. There we go. Pretty shiny. Pretty shiny. And I don't think in here. Okay, so we've got a bunch of file cabinets in here. And if we just click a random one, we see... Drawer is empty. Okay, that doesn't help. Your drawer is empty, yes or no? Game, you're being weird. Oh, they changed it. You used to have to click it to see what year it is. I see now. Now it's just right down there in, um... Oh, it doesn't show up under the alt screen, but down in that lower right-hand corner, it tells you what year and what quarter you're looking at. And... Does it give me a reminder here? Maybe it doesn't. But it's 2002 we're looking for. I feel like those go back further than they used to. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm trying to remember. It was so... Uh, there we go. I remembered. Okay. Killer charge. Transient farmhand Larry Chicken has been formally charged with the murders of Kings and the Girls, etc., etc., etc. Um... Sheriff Bannerman, ba Bannerman, which if, if you've played through, you've already met her at this point, and she, unsurprisingly, is also awesome. <laughs> yes, exactly. They follow you for like half a mile and just, then just go, meh, I don't feel like doing that last half, half block. There was, way back in the secret world, there was a bug at one point that a later enemy called the Akab, who are 
kind of notorious in this game. They broke a little bit and would follow players like halfway across the map. It was kind of hilarious. But yes, yes, they actually use the term townies. Yep. Uh, but the point is that this dude was formally charged. The actual sheriff asked people to remain calm and let justice work its course, which may be the rest of the town question her efficiency. And we already heard from Norma that she never thought it was that dude. She, she said that when she gave us the mission. So find information about the murder case. Well, we know that he was charged, and we know Sheriff Bannerman was mentioned. So a good place to look might maybe be over with the police. The sheriff, sorry, the sheriff's department, rather. Yes, Simon, the swarming monsters. I never hated them half as much as most players did. I think they're kind of neat. Yeah, apparently they did Gamers Tavern, but y you find out throughout the game that Kingsmith is kind of weird in a lot of ways. The, the, the zombies are not the first or only weird thing about this town. I should, um, I've already run Andy's missions on this character, but I, sh I should run one of them because he's also awesome. All of the NPCs in this game are awesome. Um, but he's got some really good lines about this town. Yeah. Yeah. It, d it doesn't take long to figure out that Kingsmith was a little off even before the zombies. But yeah, the Akab never bothered me as much as other players. I don't know why. It might be because pretty, er pretty early on I'd been following the forums and I caught a player recommending that if nothing else to put your back up against a tree so their knockback attack couldn't knock you down. And that helped a lot. Yeah. Don't ask Andy about the kittens. Asking Andy about the kittens only makes him sad. And nobody wants a sad Andy. Especially not Moose. Squirrel! Phone book. This is what I was talking about. So... We've got this guy as a callback. We've got Dunwich here. We've got Flag's Pharmacy. We've got HP Arts and Crafts. We've got King of Main Books. We've got Jack. It's Jack and Wendy's Bed and Breakfast. Sorry, not Diner. Jack and Wendy's Bed and Breakfast. Yeah, it's much better if they teach you to move more. That is the more correct way to play it. I just picked up that hint when I was still pretty bad at moving, which helped. Um, I'm trying to think how you actually pronounce Psycoil? Probably Psycoil. Uh, that is a company that comes into play much, much later on. This is not something you necessarily catch right away. But yeah, also, also the names of the streets. We've got, you know, Arkham, we've got Lovecraft Lane. Um, We've got Belmont Avenue. Yeah. The very first time I played, there's an early mission where you have to use the phone book. <laughs> no, they weren't even trying to be subtle, hon. I don't think so. There's a very early mission where you have to check the phone book for something, and I saw that. And that, that geeky nerd thing where you see a reference to something you love made me very excited. Oh, you're more defensive. Yeah, that was one of the other problems with um, the original Secret World game. It was very easy to accidentally set yourself up to be either way too tanky or way too healy to solo run anything. <laughs> now that we've had an exciting trip to see the phone book, maybe I can continue the mission. So, suspect database. And 
I could go through all of the suspects and, and they're all really neat, but my voice is already dying. I'm not going to. If you play the game, they, they all have like stories and they're very neat. But we're just going to pick the right one. So, he died while he was in custody. There were inconsistency, inconsistencies with the story and events. You ask my ghost for the truth, Sheriff. And he took his own life in his cell. Was that it? And then they immediately closed the investigation. Because, you know, why not? So, you see our prompt there is examine the cell for more clues. It's, uh, it's really hard to examine. That, uh, that doesn't do a lot. You can, you can run back and forth quite a lot. You can, uh, talk to Helen over here. See if she says anything about the cell. She, she, she doesn't. Spoilers. Also, if you play this game, listen to all of this dialogue, because it's awesome. So ideally, at this point, you have already died or been anima drained or whatever you want to call it. And you might put two and two together that it's specifically said, oh, going to be so many clues 15 years later. This game was originally released in 2012, so it would have been just 10 years later. So, yeah, I, I could see them still having that on file. Certainly the sheriff's office computer. I, I'm sure they had a computer database in 2002. That's not entirely unlikely there. But I, I could see them keeping track. Same with Town Hall. They had records going back to, like, the 1990s. And I'm sure, especially small towns, yeah, they still have paper records going back that far. It's still a game, like, I don't have to actively def uh, def <laughs> defend it. Oh, checking the cell. No, that that's, that's an out-of-character prompt up there. That is definitely an out-of-character prompt. And that is for the people who read that and didn't even consider checking the cell. Like, ideally, if you were super sleuth, it says the guy died in the cell. That is the most recent piece of information you've gotten, so check the cell. But, yeah, no, that's, that's a game prompt. But, like you can see, it still doesn't help. And what I was saying is she said to check with his ghost. And normally, he probably would have died by now. I'm going to do it the easy way. Assuming reset still works. Yep, it still works. One of the reasons they have the reset option, which again, it's almost like I planned this, I was talking about earlier. This is the world you end up in when you die. And there are things... <laughs> again, it's so funny. I really... <laughs> believe me, you can tell I didn't plan this. Um... But there are things that you can only see when you are in this form, and some of them, like I said, connect to missions, and some of them don't. So eventually, you're supposed to put two and two together and say, well, you know, maybe I'll ask his ghost. No, I don't want to resurrect. And look at that, the cell door is open, and we can, uh, we can't ask his ghost. But we can bring up this screen, and I thought I had it written down somewhere, but I can't find it, so I'm going to write it down again, because I'm old school, with pen and paper.
You'd think I'd have it memorized by now, but... On the off chance I don't... So the White Raven's Whisper, Golden Girl Sour, Sorrow, <laughs> Sorrowful, <laughs> Secrets Are Never Told. And I think the first time I played through this, I resurrected in the cell just to see what happens. Uh, you just get stuck in the cell and you have to reset again. And then... I tried resurrecting right here, and I ran all over Kingsmith. I mean, all over Kingsmith, looking for like a statue or a picture or something with, you know, like a white raven. I think I spent a couple days on it, just running around. Couldn't find it, came back here. You know, look, check the cell again in case I missed something. I stayed dead just in case. And um, I ran out the door, and yeah, there's just, there's a white raven right, right there. Right there. I, I made that much harder on myself than it needed to be. That, that part isn't really even a puzzle. Just, just stay dead and run out the door. Hi, friend. So the nice thing in this game, because you can follow birds at a few different points, oh, he got stuck, is that if you lose them or they get stuck, you just have to run in the same direction. They don't turn or anything, or they're not supposed to. Swear to God, if that actually bugged, because I don't have it marked on this map anymore where they actually are. I might have to run. <laughs> I might have to run back and do that again if I can't remember where... Oh, there we go. Problem solved. Oh, your anima has weakened from exhaustion. That's, that's what they're going with. That works. Oh, it's not giving you subtitles here, but if you can hear it... Two for joy, three for a girl, six for gold, five for silver, one for sorrow, four for a boy, seven for a secret never to be told. If you know an old rhyme, that's what that is. Or if, like me, other than knowing that old rhyme, you were a big fan of the band Counting Crows, they have a song that incorporates one for sorrow, two for joy, three for girls, four for boys, five for silver, six for gold, seven for a secret never to be told. So I ran across this the first time again, and I was just, I was all of the squee, and it was awesome, and it is such a neat concept. So the, um, that message that we got earlier that's what this relates to. Golden girls, sorrowful, secrets are never told. Uh, six for gold, so we're gonna talk to that guy. Golden girl. No, we don't want joy, we want sorrow. looking for Jack. Additional assignment received. Initializing. I don't need the additional assignment. Hi, Jack. Jack's a special dude. Oh, 
if I remember right, you, you can't actually catch him at this point in the game. He comes back later, and in some other missions. Um, he's also involved in the Halloween event, assuming that carries over. And they, they have said that the events are carrying over. I'm just going to defeat my five wisps while I'm over here anyway. But yeah, that's that's one of my favorite missions in the game, too. I know I'm saying that a lot. I, it's, I don't dislike the later missions. There's a lot of later missions I like, too. But some of the ones in Kingsmouth are just really, really neat. I think I already killed you. That, that big shiny, the Traveler's Torment, is one of the... Special bosses, I think? I don't know, I'm pretty sure I already killed it. The game also didn't used to have these run around randomly, kill a certain amount of enemies missions. I don't mind them. I think they're nice. It gives you something to do while you're running around doing other things. That's the button I want. You are welcome for the efforts. Oh, did I level again? Yay! Oh, I got a Pale Raven for that! Oh, I like that! That used to be one of the things you had to purchase in the item shop, in the Secret World. That works much better as a mission reward for this mission. And again, Kirsten, I won't bore you with the tragic details. Boy flees famine, boy works on Magus' farm, Magus' daughter dies, Magus tears into boy in Pumpkin Patch. The moral of the story, Kingsmith is not a good place to die. So try not to. Oh, but that's really neat. I didn't know that was a mission reward for this one now. I like that. I actually... Oh, shift P now. Okay. Oh yeah, I suppose. When I actually link my accounts, I will have all of the pets, because I have always been a big pet collector. But we can at least have one friend now. Hello, friend. Okay, what else did I get? Oh, more clothing. I'll take that. And yeah. we're gonna use these guys. Oop, wrong order. The one I'm wearing, and then that one. Sweet! I'll take that. And you can use different weapons. And it will still do the thing, which is nice. Okay, you know what, I'm just, I'm using this. I'll find another one later. And challenge complete. I very much like how they made the challenges a little easier to accomplish just, just by normal gameplay. I think that's much more satisfying, especially for early players. Uh, where am I at for that? Yeah, I just need a couple more side missions. That's not hard. Hey! Hello, I was busy. I was looking at my map, buddy. Okay. I don't want to do any of the ones that are going to take a long time. Because my voice is already dying. Oh, Roger. We'll meet her another time. Uh, lost cell phone. Oh, we should do that one quick. I don't think this area is out of my power range. Could be wrong. No, I'm fine here. If I could start remembering that I have a multi-hit uh, elementalism power, that would probably help. I think, yeah. 
You can see Jack and Wendy's uh, bed and breakfast here. I'm sure nothing creepy goes on there. No, nothing at all like The Shining, right? No. No. Never. And I think I have a friend following me, but that's okay. Oh, Faithful Husband? That's... Oh, they did add him in as an actual... Okay, never mind. We're going to find the Faithful Husband here and kill the poor guy. Because I'm a nice person. But I mean, maybe he'll stay dead this time? I mean, that would be a favor, right? That would totally be doing a favor. Okay. Onwards! I really what? So pretty. I really was going to be doing a story mission stuff tonight. I completely forgot they level locked right at that point. And I should have remembered, because I ran into that earlier, too, but... At least you guys are getting lots of pretty scenery, right? That's, that's something. Yes, there is a bird following me! That is the Pale Raven that I got from that last mission. That used to be an item store purchase, but somebody was super, super intelligent and decided that should be a mission reward instead. You know, you know, members of the secret world just, we're, we're not phased by a lot, really. Just, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's, that's not the lighthouse. Have I even unlocked? Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Isn't the lighthouse in Savage Coast? Am I forgetting what I'm doing here? I think the, the actual real lighthouse is uh, Savage Coast. I haven't unlocked the next area yet. Yeah, I haven't lost my mind. Oh, pretty lore. I'm not going to jump for you yet. Uh, I will climb that later. So I know that that is in fact very dark. There's, there's a lot of very dark things in this game. I swear that mission you used to have to run the pendant back somewhere and the spirit chased you, but I might be making that up. I might be confusing it with an entirely different mission. Yeah, there are a lot of stories told without words. Shoot, did I... Was I supposed to jump a different way? I was supposed to jump and land on there, wasn't I? There, there, there is not a ladder here. I am not smart. I wonder if you can still... Yep, you can still. I don't know if it's actually unintended or not, but sometimes you can jump towards a lore and still get it if you jump just right. I I honestly don't know if, if that's like an, an intended alternate route. I mean, I assume it must be or else they would have found a way to program it so you couldn't by now. They had five years with the secret world. 
it still feels a little cheaty sometimes though. I don't know. Uh, abandoned ammo. I'm looking for another quick side mission to run. And then I know, I know we haven't run all that long, but I might wrap up just because my voice is kind of so me. Uh, we'll see. I want to do the cell phone one. The cell phone one is one of the few kind of in-game ones where you can talk to Kirsten even... Yeah, the lobster trap. Uh, derp to derp to derp to derp. I made something else mad. Okay, okay. I'll kill you. That's all right. Oops. That helps when I hit the right buttons. Okay. That is, that's the book of voodoo. Oh, pretty shiny lore. Let's see if I remember how to get, oh, there's a ladder. That one's easy. And if anybody's curious, yes, I'm kind of speeding through it here, but I, I read every lore entry I got in the secret world. I might, uh, I'm not going to make you guys wait while I get that jump. I am way too tired to get that jump easily. It doesn't look hard, but this game is not really made for platforming, and it never really was. It does seem a little easier in SWL than it did in TSW. The new controls with the... I can't even speak, but the, the new controls seem to make the kind of awkward jumping a little bit easier. But it's still not exactly designed like Mario. So we have an abandoned cell phone. No, that's not the one I want. That's not the mission I want. There used to be a different cell phone mission. Okay, we'll do the box of squid. I kind of love the box of squid and it doesn't take long. And I want to do the box of squid. So they did, they moved around some of the side missions in this game. They have said that they didn't actually get rid of any. They've just moved them around and adjusted some. And I did run into that as I've been playing. A mission that I thought they'd maybe taken out, I ran into it later on, just in a different area. Oh, have a good, have a good one, Simon. Okay, we're going to do the box squid. See, what makes me curious is that this town clearly has a business that delivers squid in pizza boxes. This isn't something that could have just come up recently. Again, during, during their nice little mini zombie apocalypse, just there is a market in this town for boxes of squid in pizza. Yeah, like you do. I don't know if it was originally rotting. I assume it was originally fresh squid, at least. But maybe not. Yeah. 
This visual tracking thing is also new. One of the downsides when they made the nights a lot darker is missions like this got a lot harder. Because there, there, didn't, there didn't used to be tracking. You literally just had to follow the pizza... Uh, I keep calling them pizza boxes. I always will. You just had to follow the squid boxes. Or in other areas, you had to follow, say, a blood trail. Which was yeah, nah, nah, difficult with the darkness levels in the secret world. But with hard, how dark it gets at night in this game, it, it gets really crazy. So even though that visual tracking thing makes it a little bit probably easier. I don't know. I don't know if that comes on during the day, actually. I'm kind of curious. I haven't... Oh, that's just the mission area for killing things. I'm not sure if it does that during the day or not. I'm going to have to run one of these missions during the day and see if it still does. I'm kind of curious now. Because that would be even more neat if they still left it alone during the day that gave you this little nudge at night when it's so dark. Yeah, there was a mission I played. <laughs> there was a mission I played when I was in beta that, like, I know the mission by heart, but when it came to nighttime, I could not follow the blood trail to save my life. It was it was really bad. Hello, friends. Well, you guys like the squid. You guys, you guys, did you guys order out? Did you just order out? Did I just spoil your squid party? They did not order out. It's my favorite enemy again. Hi, friend. Hi, big squishy friend. Oh, big squishy friend with a big AoE attack. Hello, big squishy friend. Big squishy friend. I'm sorry, big squishy friend. I apologize. Bye bye. I love some of the views. And just see that fog rolling in. I believe that. So the other neat thing they did with the game is so I, I completed like the normal daily challenges. After that they give you extended challenges. So if you are, say, marathoning the game, then you've still got something to work on if you're not actively working on the story mission. And I like that too. Like, you, you can let that go if you're tired, you're kind of done for the night, but if you're going to keep playing anyway, you can still get some nice bonus stuff just for playing, for killing things, for running missions for empowering your weapons, like literally the daily challenges are just playing the game. Which is nice. <coughs> okay. I'm gonna zoom back over here now. I'm starting to actually cough, so I think I do actually need to cut this off. And, and I am sorry. I kind of wanted to stream a little later, but if I'm at the point I'm actually coughing, I should probably give up and try again a different day. I have a lot I need to do tomorrow before Nash comes in. I have a lot of cleaning. I, I need to do some errands in town. I need to clean up my car. I, I need to do a lot of laundry. But... If I have the time, then I will attempt streaming again, uh, and I will run around a little bit more tonight and try to get leveled up enough that I can continue the story mission since it's so neat. 
Um, the, the action missions and the side missions are very awesome, too. But I, I'd like to show off kind of the extended story chain a little bit more. And some of these side missions, as much as they're fun for me, I don't know how much fun they are to watch. So, yes. And there's RDA tomorrow, so if I stream, it's going to have to be before that, because I'm not going to overlap that. That would... I mean, I'm, I'm sure he'd forgive me, but I wouldn't be watching the game. I'd be watching the show, which wouldn't make my stream super interesting. So, clearly my voice is dying. Um, very, very much. Thank you guys for hanging out. I have been trying to stream this game for days. The Head Start opened a couple days ago. I was so excited that they did that, but then between work and the game was down for a while, I just, I didn't really get the chance. So I have now officially streamed some for Head Start. I am happy. You guys have a good night or a good day, depending on your time zone. And if I don't stream tomorrow, I will hopefully do it sometime soon. Okay. Goodbye, guys.